Review number one. We needed to replace a broken Panasonic upright that I'd always thought was a pretty good vacuum cleaner. Had no idea how much I was missing, in the carpet. I did a lot of homework, read many, many reviews, and visited stores to look at uprights. I was drawn to the Bissell Clearview Vax for their apparent value and great reviews, and the Shark Rotators, as they seem widely loved. I was not at all impressed by the Rotator NV501 I saw. It looked plasticky slash gimmicky and, just didn't seem user friendly. I had trouble using the lift away feature and getting the unit quickly clipped back onto the back. The headlights seemed weak. Sort of a met. I found this back at Kohl's, though I think it is being discontinued at Kohl's. Bed Bath & Beyond offers the 682, or 683, which is blue. These 68 asterisk models look like they are special for retail stores. It is listed as the speed version of the powered liftaway series. The NV752 looks like the flagship of the powered line, and a 752 was on the shelf at Kohl's. Only 681 was left and it is no longer in their online catalog. I like this vacuum a lot more than the heavier, more featured 752. Both have much better construction and materials than the 501, I think. The speed version is lighter by over 4 pounds. It feels like a sports car. It is a really cool emerald green color which I suspect is one of the main reason for all the model numbers in this line different colors. My initial reaction when lifting it off the shelf was yes. The 752 has an electrically powered pet hair brush, as opposed to the air powered one on the 681. This vac also lacks the caddy, for wheeling the lift off unit around, and the long under appliance tool. Otherwise, there don't seem to be many differences the 752 is quite a bit heavier. I am really glad I discovered the speed model because it seems just as versatile, and seems much more light and nimble on its feet. ER, Wheels. The speed version is exactly what we were looking for. Pros. One dot sharp cleaning power is as advertised. Wow. Didn't realize how weak my old vac was. Two dot brush on slash off switches right under your thumb. Perfect. Bright green light informs you the brush is turning normally red light if not. Three dot adjustable suction control again right near the top of the handle. Very useful. Four dot powered wand slash handle assembly. When you lift off the canister, the power head and wand stay together and you have a slim power head vac. Same if you snap the carpet head onto the handle you have a powered stair tool. Great feature. Goes way under low tables, furniture. 5 dot lift away feature is quick and easy and the canister is light. You push a button, lift the canister off and you still have a live carpet power head. It is very easy to snap it back on, too. Seems to work more easily than other Shark models. Six dot hand tools are effective and very easy to attach slash remove. There are storage pegs for two attachments. Plenty for me. Seven dot hard floor cleaning is easy with roller switch under your thumb. It does a decent job with the brush head on hard floors. Includes a Floor Genie hard floor attachment that accommodates a microfiber pad if you want to get your wood floors clean. 8. Dot well built. Significantly better than the other sharks, I think. More solid, better materials. 9. Dot a nice change from the big bubbly wobbly looking bagless uprights. Sleek head no giant ball in the way. 10. Dot easy to empty the dustbin and access the filters. 11. Dot all the filters, including the HEPA, 
are washable. You don't have to buy any filters until they wear out, apparently. 12. Dot light, quiet, maneuverable, versatile, quick and easy to change configurations. Very versatile. 13. Dot boy, she really pulls up a lot of dirt. 14. Dot I love the forest green metallic look. The blue one from BBNB looks really cool and blue, too. 15. Dot you can add the electric power true pet attachment which is supposed to be really good, but it's expensive. 16. Dot the headlights are effective. Cons. 1. Dot I swore I'd never buy a carpet vac without a cord reel. Had to give it up for the ease and versatility of this vac, but I miss it. 2. Dot I think the dustbin is small, but I've never used a bagless before. Won't make the whole house without at least one emptying. 3. Dot price seems a little high, store discounts made it more affordable. 4. Dot I can see that stringy items will wrap the brush. Not a big deal, it's designed for easy removal, but a small flaw. 5. Dot canister is a little easy to tip if set on floor. Needs the caddy if used as a canister, light enough to carry slash hold, though. Bottom line. Love the shark and was really glad we discovered the speed version of the rotator. It's worth looking for. Review number 2. It picks up like a dream and it's quiet. I had bought the shark rocket. The light one that weighs about 9 pounds, goes under furniture, doesn't stand up on its own. I actually liked it a lot, despite having to lay it down every time I needed to move something. But it was just way too loud and I couldn't stand it. I took it back to bed, bath and beyond, where I got it and walked out with the NV683, the BBNB version of this one. I love the lift away very easy to take off and put back on, one handed. It's a fairly light vacuum cleaner so you don't wear yourself out carrying the lift away while you go under furniture. There are times, however, especially on lower pile carpets, when you have to put the lift away part down and use two hands to vacuum because of the extreme self propelling of it, it takes two hands to hold it back. That's about the only drawback to this vacuum. This vacuum has an 800 amp motor. I tried this one in the store and I tried the red one with the 1100 amp motor. I bought this one because it seemed much easier to steer than the other one. And, given how it takes some upper arm strength to hold it back on low pile carpeting, that's another reason I would suggest buying this one over the unnecessarily more powerful red powered lift away. I have other sharks. I have the Professional Elite, which I also love and the Navigator, which is very good for a very inexpensive vacuum, but I love, love, love this one. The first day I used it, I was super impressed using it in one client's downstairs office area. This is a space that has desks to get under, a lot of wires from printers and computers and suck, a wood stove, which debris of ashes and the wood pile, printers with printing mess to clean, wooden floors, rugs under office chairs, just a lot of different messes and surfaces. That's where the quickness with which I was able to change from regular vacuum, to lift away, to using the wand and the different suction options, and the attachment specifically for the wood floors, made this the fastest and best that room has been cleaned. Did I mention it's light, and quiet, and picks up like a dream? Buy it. You'll love it. Review number 3. In the past year, I have purchased three vacuums. I have spent more time than reasonably necessary researching vacuums and reading customer reviews. Why? Because I was repeatedly disappointed in the quality of clean I was getting, and frustrated by how awkward and cumbersome they were to operate. I don't think I'm that picky I just want a clean floor. 
If you're in the same boat, stop searching. This is the one. Shark has made a customer for life. I have mostly hardwood floors, but also three large-ish area rugs, both high and low pile. And a dog who sheds, and a child who, well, is a child. I've been using two different pieces of equipment for the different floors, both of which worked okay, but were a huge pain to maneuver and took more time and physical effort than ideal. I vacuumed my living room area rug and had to empty the canister at least twice. I don't know if I was more appalled at how dirty the rug was, or impressed by what this shark was able to get. The machine was able to pick up the tiniest dirt and dust particles, along with the dog hair and fuzz. What's more absolutely nothing was blown out through the exhaust. I had no idea the rug was so vibrant, it hasn't looked like this since it was new. I have never been so excited to clean in my life. Pros. Lighter weight than most vacuums. Incredible suction. Self-propelled. Headlights. Quiet. Easy release button slash empties into garbage without making a mess. No dust exhaust. IT cleans so well. Cons. I honestly cannot think of a single thing. I love this machine. Get one you won't be disappointed. Review number one. We needed to replace a broken Panasonic upright that I'd always thought was a pretty good vacuum cleaner. Had no idea how much I was missing, in the carpet. I did a lot of homework, read many, many reviews, and visited stores to look at uprights. I was drawn to the Bissell Clearview Vax for their apparent value and great reviews, and the shark rotators, as they seem widely loved. I was not at all impressed by the Rotator NV501 I saw. It looked plasticky slash gimmicky and just didn't seem user friendly. I had trouble using the lift away feature and getting the unit quickly clipped back onto the vac. The headlights seemed weak. Sort of a meh. I found this vac at Kohl's, though I think it is being discontinued at Kohl's. Bed Bath & Beyond offers the 682, or 683, which is blue. These 68 asterisk models